Hey guys, it's X Dragon Force 101 with take three of my white door video. I've previously done two videos and all of them have resulted in errors. I really should have tried this before starting to install. So white door is basically a compatibility firmware for older devices. It's pretty cool. It, it runs so much faster. Features native multitasking wallpapers and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to whitedoor.com. You're spelling white door white door, but in door you're spelling it two zeros. So go head over there and you're gonna click on firmware download tab. You're going to choose your device, in our case iPhone 3G. You ask, do you want a normal or unlocked firmware? A normal firmware is just your normal IPSW and unlocked would be so you can use your phone with any SIM provider, any network, anything. So we're just going to choose a normal and you're going to hit that. And then after you've downloaded that, we're going to need to head over to Apple's iTunes and we need to download the latest iTunes. If you already have a beta, that's fine. If you have 10.4, that's great. We're also going to have to head over to I Hate Snow's website. He develops a thing called iRev. It allows you to um, basically install custom firmwares. So what we're going to do is we're going to download that. It's on a hot file. It's a long way. So you're going to click regular download and it'll pop up there. So now that we've got everything, we're going to open up iTunes. Sorry, we're going to... Yeah, we're not. We are gonna. We're gonna open up iTunes. I hope that it doesn't try to sync with us. Here we come. So iTunes is up. We should detect our iPhone. There we go. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna open up iReb. So we want to put an iPhone 3G into recovery mode, don't we? So we're gonna click on iPhone 3G. Prepare to press Power Plus Home. Home button, power button. Three, two, one, release. Keep holding the home button. Gonna wait while iRev does its stuff, downloading essentials, extracting resources, patching WTF, creating, uploading with WTF. In a few seconds, yep, you know it's an opponent DFU state blank screen. So we're gonna put that down. So, I'm just gonna close iRev. Gonna open up iTunes again. And it's detected an iPhone in recovery mode. Fabulous. So what we're going to do is we are going to hold the shift button down. And that's all for Mac users. So we're going to hit the shift button and we're going to click restore. And that should open up a white door, oh, sorry, just a dialog box to select stuff. So we're going to select our firmware. That's the one you downloaded off white door, not original firmware. Open. And then you're pretty much done. All you have to do is wait. I'm going to wait while White Door installs. So I'll come back when it's done. Waiting for iPhone. So this is the first stage, just the blank progress bar. So that's it, verifying the iPhone software. That's the progress bar nearly complete. I'll come back to you when it's rebooted and it's ready for activation. So here we go, guys. We've been restored to White Door firmware. So we're just rebooting now. Should take a little bit longer um, because it's freshly restored, as always. But other times, it actually boots a lot faster than the iPhone running a normal firmware. So in a minute I'll give you a little tour of what White Door does. Cha-ching! We are in! So what you're going to do is in iTunes, you're going to open up iTunes and of course it's going to access your iTunes store and activate your phone! Which is awesome. So in iTunes we're going to set up as a new iPhone because we don't want to get any compatibility issues with apps. So continue. And I'm just going to call it iPhone because I'm giving it to somebody else after this. So there we go. Sync in progress. Backing up. Don't worry if you get waiting for activation, that just means it wants a sim. Blah blah blah, give me a sim now. So after it's done, I'm just gonna slide to unlock. And we're in. I'm just gonna disconnect from iTunes. So here's just one of the many features that start at the very top, shall we? We've got battery percentages. We have then got 
the debated video camera. And this is a real video camera, guys. It actually records videos. And then we've got Cydia pre installed, terminal pre installed, and in settings, we've got loads of things we can use. We've got iOS 3 wallpaper. Well, in fact, we can just, we've got a wallpaper setting actually. Here you can choose your wallpapers. Which wallpapers would you like? Ah, set. Set as home screen. Then, of course, you can have different home screen wallpapers. You've got multitasking. And you can and you just drag things into the middle to close them. Well, no, you don't. You can close them like that. So that's pretty awesome. That's basically White Door. There's, I'm sure there's a ton more that I haven't looked at yet, and I'll show you them later. So, guys, that was my video. Thanks for watching. Oh, minus the sex and the money, I'm a dummy.